So how many of these does it take to take care of someone with kidney disease? The answer is gonna surprise you. What's up San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt and I'm a kidney doctor and I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Now do me a favor, hit up that like and share button. It'll really help me out. In order for you to understand the cost of kidney disease in the United States, you have to understand how kidney disease is paid for in our healthcare system. All of you have heard of Medicare. Well, Medicare is a government provided insurance that is age qualifying, meaning when you turn 65, you can apply for it. Well, there is an exception to that rule. It's the diagnosis of end stage kidney disease, meaning those patients that are on dialysis actually qualify for Medicare benefits. So you could be a 30 or 40 year old dialysis patient and have the same insurance as your 70 year old grandmother. Now, because of that, Medicare is the primary payer for dialysis services. And do you have any idea how much it costs to perform dialysis on an annual basis for a dialysis patient? Go ahead, guess, go ahead. It's actually $90,000. That's ridiculous. Now times that by 500,000 dialysis patients in the United States, and you're talking about over $35 billion annually. Now, even though dialysis patients make up less than 1% of the total of Medicare's patients, they make up over 7% of Medicare's total spending. If you take into account, not just people on dialysis, but patients with kidney disease in different stages, Medicare spends over $114 billion on an annual basis to cover people with kidney disease. That's about one in every $5 spent by traditional Medicare. So what is Medicare doing to combat this? Well, introducing the Advancing American Kidney Health Presidential <laughs> Executive Order. This is a bold new plan to go from a system that pays for kidney sickness to a system that pays for kidney health. Now, to learn more about this presidential executive order, you gotta check out my videos on it. This was signed into law in July of 2019 and tries to improve kidney health in three different ways. Incentivize dialysis at home, which is far cheaper than doing dialysis in center, but it also gives patients back their autonomy and freedom encouraging more kidney transplants to get people off of dialysis, which gives them a better quality of life. Focusing in on kidney disease awareness, prevention, and trying to slow down the progression of kidney disease. Well, if this is the first time you've heard of the true cost of kidney disease, I hope it was an eye opener. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. And if you got something to say, please leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys your health.